Hey guys, uh, Nathaniel here. We're going to be doing continuous integration today. Uh, we're not going to do the full uh, crazy bloat continuous integration where if you actually make a push that fails, it's going to stop it from actually entering the repository. We're going to do the basics. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and set up continuous integration. So what does this mean for you? Uh, this means by the end of it, you're going to have this nice little flag right here that says circle CI passing. Ooh. So that will be super nice. Uh, in addition, you'll actually get a passing failing mark on each of your commits that you can actually view right over here. So we're going to be doing some strong integration with GitHub. What does this mean actually or theoretically? Why is this an actually good uh, developer experience? Uh, what this means is that every time that you commit code, you're going to have tests that run on it automatically on the server. Now remember, we already have tests that run automatically, quote unquote. But your developers can still push stuff up that will be broken, uh, which happens. Uh, they, they'll, they'll go ahead and pass the no verify flag, or they'll have a flaky test that will run three out of four times. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. How do we set it up? So, ironically, Meteor is pretty good about this. So I've gone ahead and I've linked this into the guide, or at least into the uh, descriptions down here. Uh, first thing you do is you go ahead and you set up Circle CI. Uh, the only thing that you need to do to set up Circle CI is you sign up. If you click sign up right here, it will ask you to authorize GitHub, and then will ask you to take one or two of your accounts and add them to CircleCI. I've already done that. Uh, once you're done with that, uh, what you can do is you can go over here and you can check out what CircleCI looks like. So if we go back here, you can click on any one of these little badges and you'll be taken to your CircleCI app instance. So in this case, we actually see the test that was running. Let's click back and sort of see all of the tests that we're running. We go to deeds, looks like we've got a couple of tests. Now the first test that we actually push is gonna fail. So I went ahead, I linked this repo. Uh, you can check out this, uh, this test right here. So if you check out this test, the reason why it fails is because initially CircleCI doesn't even know about Meteor. It's pretty good. Uh, it will take Python, Node, some basic stuff, but Meteor is unfortunately a little bit beyond it. So what we need to do is add a little bit of customization. The customization that we add is all going to be in this circle.yaml. Uh, in circle.yaml, we go ahead, we specify the node version that we want. In this case, we specify 4.6.2, which is the, uh, as of creating this video, it's the most recent one that's been uh, supported by Meteor. And then we add some dependencies. You notice we install Meteor the good old fashioned way. And then we do npm install. So we make sure all of our packages are installed. Okay. So we do that, and then what happens? Uh, once we do that, we'll actually get a passing test. So go down here, I think this was the first test where I actually did this. It'll go ahead, it'll run all the tests. You can check out the test results right here with NPM test. Uh, you'll need to download the full output file because unfortunately, we've got around 40,000 lines of downloading Meteor tool. Okay, it's that simple. At that point, you'll have CircleCI set up. Uh, your GitHub repo will have all these little check marks right down here that show whether these commits were passing or failing commits. Now, what your GitHub won't have is it will not have this sort of logo down here, which I think is kind of nice. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to add this logo, which is, again, incredibly simple. I'll go ahead and I'll link this. Uh, I think it's right here, embeddable status badges, along in the description. And this will show you how to do it, and it will show you the exact type of string that you need to copy and paste in. Otherwise, if you want to look at someone who's actually done this already, you can check out my commits uh, where I have linked this in. So this is circle CI, uh, I'm sure the entire thing right here. Okay, so that's it. Uh, so what this will mean is anytime people commit code to your repository, they'll have to associate it with a commit, and you can see whether their code breaks or doesn't break the test that you've made. Um, Again, if people are following good coding practices, they shouldn't break the tests that you've made. Uh, so that means if people are actually not using the no verifier, they're not making flaky tests, they shouldn't even be able to push. Your, your git push hook will prevent that. Um, okay, so the next time I'm gonna show you how to integrate this with continuous deployment. Uh, so making sure all the things that you deploy will uh, have to uh, be tested. And then finally after that, I'm gonna be showing you what this all looks like. Uh, so just making it going uh, ahead and making a failing commit, showing you that that doesn't push uh, to a staging website, and then making a successful commit and showing that that does push to staging. 
Okay, guys, thank you. This has been awesome.